Alright, hello and welcome to another tutorial from your good pal Rob Papalo at Software Reborn on Death Rain 333's YouTube channel, obviously. So, as you can see, I'm on the computer right now and this is my PlayStation screen. Um, so, basically, I'm just going to show you a quick little tutorial on how to do this. Now, I will say that you need to go out and buy some hardware, um, and I will show you what to get in a minute. Um, but right now, just simply you can see that I have the power director pulled up right now to capture the video from my Sony PlayStation. And uh, I will have a link to the trial software for this version of software here, so you guys can go ahead and do that. And uh, I'm going to show you how to install the SMI grabber device driver along with the EasyCap, which is what you need to buy. So let me just go ahead and pull that up really quick. Uh, so I'm just going to close out of this program right now because I don't need it. Uh, all right, let me pull this up. As you can see, I'm uploading that video right now. Um, but uh, let me view my downloads real quick here. And uh, all right. Let's open up this image, and here's what you're going to need to buy. This is the EasyCap. It's made from China, and uh, unfortunately, it is not available for Windows 7 64 uh, bit. Uh, it will work with Windows 7 32 bit operating systems, so you could use the disk driver there. Um, so just simply pop the disk in, and I'll show you how to do that if you're running a Windows 32 bit operating system. But here's the easy cap right here. Basically it's a 2.0 high speed USB port. This is an extension if you want to plug it in the back of your computer and leave it at that um, to extend. Uh, but uh, you have your easy cap here. Simple RCA hookup. S video right here in the center here. And uh, stereo audio. Video pickup. Regular. And um, this is the installation driver disk. Um, for that. Now the program that's on here I would recommend not using. I would much rather use the power director just because it's a hell of a lot better video editing software. Um, but yeah, so this is what you're gonna need. So go on eBay and search EasyCap USB 2.0 video adapter with audio and uh, just go ahead with that and uh, actually I'll just give a link um, to the search underneath this video if you care to buy the EasyCap. Now, another thing that we're going to have you download is this right here. Uh, if you're running 64-bit operating system, it's the Grabber SAA7113 USB SMI2022 DRV version 1022B. This is the driver installation that you're going to need to download. And the link will be everything you need for links is going to be below this video and more information. So first thing that you're going to want to do is, um, for example, if you want, if you have a 32-bit operating system, go ahead and pop in the EasyCap disk that you get with the hardware that you order. So pop that disk in, and this is for Windows 2000, XP, Windows Vista, and Windows 7 32-bit operating systems. Uh, and like I said before, it does not work with 64-bit. Um, so then your autoplay is going to come up, and it's you just click Run, the auto ex execute here. And this will come up. And you just go to install driver and follow the steps there for 32-bit operating systems or anything lower than uh, Windows 7 32-bit. Does not work with Windows 7 starter though, but you could uh, edit the registry about that. And I will make a tutorial on that as soon as I get my hands on something with Windows 7 starter on it. But I'm just going to exit that right now because I'm not going to use it for my system because I have 64-bit. If you have 64-bit, then you're going to want to download this file right here. This is a third party made driver and it works beautifully. You will need to reboot your computer and I already have it installed but this is what you do. So pretty much you can right click on it and say extract files here uh, to your desktop and it'll make a folder labeled this uh, or you can use an extraction program which I have WinRAR um, and you're going to see the folder right here. Double click on that folder and here are all the drivers extracted from the executable file that are inside the setup PKT. But you have Vista 32, Vista 64, uh, Windows 32, 64, and Windows XP. Obviously you can use that for those versions, but you don't have to because you have the other driver. Um, but if you want 
but you can do it this way too, but this is mainly for Windows 7 64-bit operating systems. So if you go to Windows 7 64-bit, you'll see the NF uh, and the uh, driver right here as promised. Now what you're basically going to do is go to the setup and uh, just double click and run the setup and it's going to come up with the installation field and click install the driver and uh, just go ahead and install the driver and once the driver has installed I'll just start this up real quick but I'll just hit cancel I'll just show you really quick uh, you probably don't see this prompt uh, just hit yes and then um, it'll start the installation shield wizard and the SMI grab device right here preparing to install and then basically you're just gonna hit next this won't come up um, but I'm just gonna hit cancel yes I'm sure um, and then when it's done this will come up and you'll say finish and then once that is done you can go ahead and click on the link for the CyberLink PowerDirect download and you're gonna end up downloading this right here I'll have the link on my website for this and it'll download the uh, power link direct download or execute directly from CNET this is a CNET link um, and it'll download that there then once you download this double click and run this and it'll automatically ask you do you want to download power link director whatever version is out now and you download that and then after that's done downloading confirm the installation after the download and uh, install the program and then reboot your computer Rebooting your computer, after the reboot, you take your easy cap that you ordered and you plug it into the desktop and then it'll search for the driver, it'll find the driver and it'll install the driver. Now to be sure that the driver has installed correctly, go to the start menu and right click on computer. Click on manage and it's going to come up with your manage properties for your operating system and computer combination. Um, so here it is right here, computer management, and you're going to click on device manager. And it's going to be listed underneath uh, sound, video, and game controllers. And you want to make sure that this SMI grabber device is installed and that there is no little caution symbol next to it or else it will not work properly. As, like This is the caution symbol you're looking for. This PSP display driver for Vista right here, that caution logo is what you're looking for. Um, that means the driver is not working correctly. Um, that, on the other hand, is an exception though because it's for Vista, but Vista is based, Windows 7 is based off Vista's spine column, I guess you could say. And uh, it's just like, oh, it wants to be on Vista, but it'll work on 7. That's the only reason why that's there. But if you have one of those at this, then you have to reinstall the driver again or just simply extract all the files, go in here and go to driver and click update driver and browse to the folder on your desktop of the extracted files. So that's all set, ready to go. So once that's all done and installed, you can now open up your CyberLink Power Director that you have downloaded um, for use. Now what you're going to do pretty much is um, select 4.3, not 16.9 because you see, you know, a little bit better with the 4.3, I think, and um, it's only standard definition. So you can't have any like high definition recordings. The highest you can go is about 720p. Um, unfortunately but it works so when you get to this just go ahead and try it if you like it go ahead and buy it I would recommend it this program is absolutely beautiful I will be making a tutorial about a review on this program relatively soon uh, just because as soon as this screen came up I fell in love with the program as soon as the main screen came up I fell in love with the program because I saw all the options here and I was like it's pretty much like Adobe Premiere just laid out a lot simpler for anybody to understand and it's a brilliant program to learn how to do video editing with and I would recommend it to a lot of people but uh, anywho back to the video click on the capture tab up here and it's going to detect the devices and it will detect your SMI grabber device and you should see this come up which is the PS3 screen and I'll just scroll through the PS3 screen here like so and uh, you can see that it's working correctly um, now unfortunately you cannot view this in full screen so you probably want to get a video splitter so you can watch it on the television and with this at the same time now 
thankfully, I have a uh, multi-split cable, uh, which has the, uh, the green, red, and blue on it for video feed as well. Um, so I can, like, you know, record on this, and I can hear the audio and everything coming out from my monitor and uh, all that fun jazz. And at the same time, I can play it on my television while the video feed is still coming to this through the exact same wire. You can pick one of these up at GameStop for like $20 if you go to GameStop. Or you can probably order them cheaper online off of eBay. Just look for multi-tap or some shit like that. Um, I'll try and find one online and I'll leave a link for the search. But that's pretty much all you do. And then simply just hit record and it starts recording this. And it also records sound, obviously. Uh, so uh, that's pretty cool too. Um, now, a few things you want to be sure of if you pay attention to the uh, PlayStation screen here. Um, I'm just going to run down to the settings real quick to uh, display settings. And you want to make sure that your PS3 is on standard definition. Like if you have it on high definition or something, plug it into your HD port on your TV and go to the video output settings and make sure it's on composite S video or the component D terminal. It doesn't matter, but it has to be lower than 720p. If you have it on 1080i or 1080p, it's not going to read it. It won't come through on this screen. So if it doesn't come through on the screen, don't freak out because you might have everything right. You just need to go into your PS3 and change the settings. So make sure you remember that. Um, but that's about it. So that's how you record your PS3 screen with the Easy Cap shipped out of China and the modified drivers to work with PowerDirector and Windows 7 64 bit operating system. All the links and description on how to do this will be below in this video in the more information section. So if you would please rate, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And also, if you have any questions, personal message me. I'll be happy to comply with those messages. Feel free to donate to my channel for more proceeds, for more materials, and more materials for you. And also go check out my website, Software Reborn. Follow me on Twitter, at DeathRain333. And check out the Google blog forms of electronics and software. And all the links are on my channel page. So, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope you figure it out for yourself. And I will talk to you later with more tutorials from your boy Rob.